afternoon, Ms. Bradley. Good afternoon. Um, before I begin, um, I wanted to ask you if you had, if you wanted to clarify an end of your statements that you made yesterday. Go ahead and begin. I wanted to ask if you wanted to clarify any of your statements that you made in today. Go ahead and ask whatever you're going to ask, Ms. Merchant. Um, you initially became involved in this matter because you called me, correct? Absolutely not. I didn't call you. No, it was through a third party. Um, you called me after you read an article in, and I don't even know where it was. I, I found one in the Washington Examiner. Your Honor, I've got an objection. Can we approach the bench? Okay. she already provided you so we have more than enough notice of when that might be coming i think the second she asks a question that you think might weigh into that make the objection and we can rephrase if necessary all right miss merchant you can re-ask that last question um read an article that was on september 11th discussing how much you and this were made for scandal and correct that is correct and you called me that same day and left me a voicemail on my cell phone asking me to call you back <laughs> I do not recall that, but I do not recall that. You don't recall that? I do not. So it's possible that happened. I do not recall calling you after the article came out. I was shown the article, but I do not recall calling you after the article. Uh, can you tell us your phone number? It's 334-717. Wait, hold up. Why, why is that relevant, Ms. Yeah. Merchant? Because... Um, I need to establish that his phone number is the one that all of the texts that he had with me. Well, I can just ask him if he has texted you at some point. I can, we can stipulate that as a matter of record. I don't need okay. that on the record. Okay. You don't have to put it in the record. Um, how about this? Can I show him a copy of his, his, um, what he saved in it? In my sure. Okay. I'll just do that. Okay. <clears throat> you may. Take a look at that and just verify if that's your number and your cell phone. That is my number and my cell phone. Okay, and is that also your email address? That is my email address. Okay, Thank you. And I'll keep that separate, Judge. Um, and I'll be redacted. Um, so after whether or not you left a message on my voicemail, the next day um, we were all in court in front of Judge Harris on September 12, 2023. And how do you recall that? I do recall... Being in Judge Harris, yes, I do. And um, your attorney, BC Chauffeur, was there, and I was there, and another attorney, Burke Cohen, were there, correct? Those people were there at the time. BC was not the uh, my attorney. I didn't realize I needed an attorney until I was subpoenaed. Uh, but but BC Chauffeur was there. I'm going to check to the relevance of this. Ms. Cross, as, as I see this line of testimony... Much of it is I, I, I'm taking in response to the original uh, how we started off this whole hearing that Ms. Mershon had no basis whatsoever to bring this and she should be sanctioned. And I think she's laying that out. OK. All right. Ms. Merchant. I, I recall um, it was in a conference room in the front. Um, I don't. 
don't know. I know you were handling a case in Judge Harris. I think I was speaking to Bert about a case, and BC was there to speak to Bert about a case. Yes, I, I think I, I do recall that happening, but I can't recall who else was there. It was a regular court date. That conference room, that's sort of in, in Cobb County. There's a conference room in front of the Correct. Um, and it's not, it's not a public room. It's sort of like the jury room. Correct. And it was the four of us in that room talking. I don't recall if anybody else was there. I, I will say that I do remember at some point it was myself, you, BC, and Bert there, but people were coming in and out of the courtroom. So I cannot sit here and say, accurately say that somebody else wasn't there at the time. Uh, Correct. <laughs> Um, and based on that phone conversation, I told you I had been submitting open records requests and I'm going to continue to submit open records requests, correct? Based on what phone conversation? Based upon our conversation in court. Oh, okay. Um, correct. You, you said that you were doing some open records requests, correct? And then based on our conversation, I told you I was going to do some additional open records requests. Which open records? Records request, are you talking about? Just any. I was asking if we talked about that I was going to be doing some follow up to Fulton County. That's what I was because I, I recall open records requests being made for other things, and so I don't know which one that you're referring to. Uh, we At that time, we talked about um, getting, a, I guess it's called a, a county card and getting access cards and things like that for coming in and out of Fulton County for you, Mr. Wade, okay. um, and, and all of the access that you all have. Yes, yes, and you asked me, did I have an access card? And you are the one that told me that you and Mr. Wade, or that Mr. Wade at least had an access card. I told you that the three of us had an access card because we um, had a contract with the DA's office or the county. Um, I told you what those contracts were and that we had an access card that would allow us to pick up the documents, go into a specific office, and leave out. Right. Okay. And so we talked about, um, about that bad access cards and asking for that, and I was going to ask for that, right? Correct. And then a couple days later, um, I sent you a text, and when I say a couple days, so that was on September 12th when we had that conversation. Do you mind if I pull out my phone? Not at all. On September 14th, um, at 6.38 p.m., made and, and line with the outline you provided me and I, and I think we're 
on track with that. Were you tendering, were you planning to tender these text messages? I was planning on discussing them with him. Now, if yesterday you said we didn't talk text about this case, so if that was a testimony you gave today, then yes, I will at least I would show that to him to refresh his recollection or um, to impeach him. But the, their their first part of their argument is foundation. Um, what I'm assuming they're saying all of these. They're not all relevant. I can give you all of my texts, but they're not all relevant. And so they asked for screenshots, and so I took screenshots. If there is a way to submit my entire text history for Mr. Bradley, then that's fine. If they want us to read every single text, that's fine. I just don't want to be in a position where people are saying that, that, that I'm not. Well, I also want to avoid the situation where you as counsel of record are having to lay the foundation and, and do that sort of thing yourself. So I don't know how much further we can go with this before we get into that. So, Well, I'm not sure what their objection is. He, so I asked him about one question, and he read sure. several other Why don't we just go with your next question, and we'll see where we go from there. Right. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. But, so, oh, Mr. Bradley, why don't you wait for her to ask a question? And I understand that, Judge, and I'm not well, kidding. Well, apparently you don't, sir. Wait for her to ask a question, and you'll have a chance. Um, so I think what I, the, the last thing I asked you was about September 14th. Um, so those texts that you're talking about, those refer to the issue that we're here today about them. Some texts, yes. Yes, okay. Um, and then you called me again on September 15th, 2023, and you spoke on the phone. I do not recall that. Well, I texted you and said I needed to call you back, and then I later called you back. I, I'm not sure on that. I do not recall. You don't recall that? Okay. And, um... Do you recall the following Monday, um, Your Honor, I, I appreciate the, the question um, as it is on the form, and the question is what she's going to read. I object to it even being asked out loud. That was part one of attorney Terrence Bradley's testimony on whether D.A. Fannie Willis is still eligible to continue her case against Donald Trump. As you leave the page, kindly hit that like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you for watching.